and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Color Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. Today is an exciting day for me personally because today we're leaving for Disney World. What? And crazy within this episode, I might have uh, left for the trip, come all the way back and record at the end of this episode because before the main thing we need to do in today's episode is to uh, defeat the next gym. The plant badge, I believe is what it's called. Uh, and our obvious go-to poke for said gym is the mighty Chloeo, who I feel like has uh, not seen a ton of action here recently, but, but, uh, is indeed uh, as ready to go as ever, especially following the death of the Mighty Axe, who we're all really still upset about, and I don't like it. Um, uh, there are, we, we do want to get in a few battles, I think, ahead of time, just to get everyone up to, I would say, at least maybe like 32 does that seem good that's pretty close for everybody Lucas Xander's got a little bit more climbing to do but at the end I think we're gonna get there pretty quick Goyron's already there my goodness my gracious so yeah um that's the goal we're gonna do some grinding to start uh I will say that um god the the death of Axe is still is still pretty fresh um, obviously we saw the last episode, Juge at least has been highly motivated. That was good. Goyrin, um, gosh, she's come so far. Uh, once, once the creepy little Esper bear, and now I think largely being looked to as sort of like the, the leader of the team in the wake, not like... I don't know, not in the exact same way or anything, but certainly Goyrin took the most leadership from Axe, and I don't know if she's trying to lead, or if everyone's just sort of looking at her, because she's been the most powerful and is the highest level and has done a lot of battles for us recently, but it feels natural to everybody. Um, not that Zyla has any idea what's going on she hasn't even seen the field of battle yet but we have got some surfing around on her so we've seen her just haven't seen her in battle yet anyway i'm gonna go grind and uh then we're gonna go fight the gym so enjoy the music and i'll see you in a minute <laughs> have done it we have finished our grinding session it is only a week later since i was last actually talking to the camera i have been to disney world in the time it took for all that grinding to happen can you believe it what a week we've been grinding for so long so many things have happened many magical adventures were had in the land of disney but uh maybe i'll talk about that as we go through this gym in the meantime first of all let's just see what happened on the team i got everyone up to um Above 30, 31 at least. Uh, the main strategy, I believe, for this gym is just going to be uh, throw out Chloeo, go Fire Fang, go see you later. Bye bye now. Uh, I really wish we had, like, Flamethrower or something, because Fire Fang, whilst, uh, you know, good, you can tell our physical attack, not as high as our special attack, and this is a physical attack. Um, same thing for here, Headbutt, physical attack. We need special attacks for our little lion here. Uh, so, to that end, we might try and do a workup when we get to our uh, gym leader to give us a little, little boosty boost, little boosty boost. Uh, let's see, what else we got here, though? Who else is on the team? Uh, Luca Xander uh, did pretty good. We got up to 31. Finally, I feel like I got a good a good little rhythm going there with Luca Xander. Got a lot more practice with Thunder Wave. Got a little more comfortable with Takedown. Uh, Ancient Power, very useful indeed. Goyrin picked up a brand new attack in Extra Sensory. It does the same amount of damage as Psy Shock. Uh, it's it does special damage now instead of physical damage. That doesn't really... It still uses our special attack, so it doesn't really matter on that. But this also has the ability to make it flinch, so I felt like that was better. 
I like flinching. Flinching is good. That's all of uh, Ploeo's moves are all flinchy. Uh, let's see. Nothing too new over here on Fatterhorn. Love it up a few times. Body slam. No new moves or anything there to speak of. Juge picked up Seed Bomb. What? Way better than Razor Leaf. My goodness. Um, very powerful. Very powerful. So if we need to fall back on anyone, we can always fall back here on Juge, I think, a little bit because... Uh, Worst case, I mean, same type, right? So can't be, can't be, but so bad in terms of it. I think probably really close to evolving too. Xylia also picked up Ice Beam. I got rid of Rain Dance because we don't really have any Thunder users and we don't have anyone else who has any water attacks. And uh, I like Ice Beam. Ice Beam, very good. Um, special attack and regular attack, both pretty even. So we it's mixed attacking. That's nice. Uh, there you go. Anyway, strategy, Chloeo, Fire Fang. Let's do it. Let's go, gym battle time. Just so you guys have some idea, I wanna say the grinding probably took close to like 40 minutes worth of actual game time. I do turn the XP share on too for the grinding. Um, it, it probably took you, I don't know, maybe 30, 30 seconds to a minute to watch it though, right? Oh, oh goodness. The time, the time grinding is half of the whole Nuzlocke, isn't it? from my end of things. I really want Chloeo to evolve. I think we looked it up and said it was 35. I think I'm pretty close with Juge as well. Uh, I think is it maybe 32? Uh, I got so close. Maybe I should have, oh, Simi Sage. If he throws out some sort of weird like rock slide attack right here, I'm gonna be so mad. I feel like he's got it in him to do something stupid like that. Mm, I'm gonna be so mad. Fire Fang, do it. Flinch him, Seed Bomb, let's see how it does. Mm-hmm. So, not a ton of damage, but more than I'd like, I'll be honest. Of course. So as long as we live this attack, we should be good. Seed bomb. Okay, there we go. We're set. We're set. Fire bang. Take that. Man, we don't... We didn't have any lingering experience, so we obviously it looks like we just hit the... Ooh, 1,100 points. Bam! That's so good. From where did you get your power? I don't know. What a weird question, dude. I just, uh, I train a lot. Actually, I should have checked the potion situation before we came in here. Let's see. We have two hyper potions, and that's it. Hold on. Uh, we're just going to cut this out real quick while I go buy potions. Back. Okay, so the thing I am particularly concerned with in this gym is, I mean, I think we'll be able to fire thing everything pretty good, but the leader guy does have whatever um, Juge evolved is, is into. Um, and that is nerve wracking for one reason. And that is because we already know from our own Juge that Juge learns Bulldoze. And Bulldoze is gonna be mighty effective against uh, little Chloeo there. So uh, we really want to not die from Bulldoze. That's our thing, that's the big problem right so it's possible we could throw a noble roar at them pharaoh seed talk about weak to fire um mm -hmm. you're very weak to fire did i not heal god i went to the pokemon center and didn't even freaking heal that was so dumb this thing is so dead though zoo and dead yeah, that's what i thought iron barbs <gasps> okay we're gonna have to spend a turn healing now god i feel so stupid for not doing that while I was there. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no, you have a water type. Oh gosh, okay. Now we have to switch. Um, and we have Juge as well. Could Juge handle this guy? Um, possibly? Actually, mm, would ice do better? We have water absorb. He's definitely going to do a water type attack, so that would probably just absorb eh, well let's just go to juge that's meh i want juge because i feel like if juge evolves i think juge evolves at 32 so i kind of want to get in the fight there but um let's go for it let's see what happens juge you got this they got nothing oh they've got sneaky pokemon on here don't they oh we're good against fire we're good against fire we have water and ground attacks <laughs> fake out okay so that was weird um Let's just bulldoze this guy and see what happens. Bulldoze, kaboom! Yeah. Oh, that did nothing. 
It did nothing. Lower to speed. I guess that's something. Water spout. What does this do? Weakens fire's attack. Mm. So that'd be a good opening move for the gym leader guy. Let's see how much seed bomb does. I don't think this is going to do very much either. I guess it's part water. Could do something. Oh, critical head. Boom. Look at mighty Juge. There we go. Yes, Juge. Do it. Carnivine. Ooh. Man, I just caught a ton of carnivines down in uh, Florida at Disney World. Which I guess is somewhat regional. I don't think they're at least not up here in Virginia. But they're everywhere. So, that was cool. Will Bulldoze hit this or does it have like Levitate or something? I don't know. This isn't going to do much damage. Oh, it does have Levitate. Great. I'm surprised it doesn't have like Acrobatics or Aerialist or something really annoying and dumb. Um... Ba, 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 ba. That was a dark. Does that dark type attack I just used? Let's go to Fatterhorn here. Let's do it. We're just gonna body slam this Carnivine. No problem. No problem. So the other, yeah, obviously the other option is Fatterhorn when he goes out to his big goat. So we can just oh leftovers. So we can do exactly this leftovers on it because the oh, that bulldoze is so strong. We cannot, we cannot lose Chloeo. That would be bad news, bears. Would not like that. Oh, it lives on like one health. Are you kidding me, Carnivine? What a weird Pokemon. The effects of water sport have faded. That's why I didn't switch back into um, Chloeo, by the way, because I was concerned about the water sport. Mm -hmm. I love the sound effect of strength that like that like sounds like I don't know that knocking sound. Oh, fatter home with level. Yeah, that might be the move. Getting fats out there to fight the goat. We'll let Chloeo do the rest of the work, but it's hard to kill Fatterhorn, man. He's so bulky. He's so bulky. First of all, let's hyper potion real quick. Oh, man, I'm getting so nervous about that dumb bulldoze though. There we go. All right. Should we just... Yeah, why not? There you go. Sorry, Jude. Just, let's full. Let's go full health. There's no reason to be risky when we don't need to be risky. I feel like there should be more trainers. Should there not? Where are they? I want to fight all of them. Yeah, you look like a fight. You want to fight? Let's go. Do -do -do. My Pokemon and I will share the joy of defeating you. Is that right? Do you think you can defeat me? You can have some weird thing that's good against fire types as well. Your Roselia. It secretly has Earthquake or something. I would be so livid if this thing had something like that, which I don't think it does. I'm just going to fire thing it. It avoided. Are you kidding? Yeah, we have 95 accuracy on Fire Fang, and it avoids it. Where is Flamethrower? So annoying. Oh, double layer Toxic Spikes. So switching will indeed uh, give us quite a bit of... Uh, well, it would poison whoever comes in worse than usual. Yeah, 34! Here we go. I think we're one level away. I think we're one level away. Wormadam. What? Anticipation shuddered. I don't know what that means. We're just going to go Fire Fang on this thing and it's going to die easy. Kaboom, kaboom. Kaboom, kablam. You did. That's right. Boy, I had such a journey at Disney trying to catch two Pokemon in particular. One was Finneon and one was Burmy, both of which are like two of the most forgettable Pokemon ever. But every time they would pop up on my radar, it would be like literally on an island or something uh, like laughably far away. But I guess they're just not super common here or I don't know. I just didn't have them. And those were like the two that kept popping up and everyone was like, oh, cool, I'll go get it. Because Disney World is a weirdly good place to play Pokemon Go because there's just Pokestops everywhere. And uh, you're waiting in line so much all the time that you have plenty of time to just, you know, uh, catch Pokemon or spin stops or whatever. And... You're walking around so much that uh, it's easy to hatch tons of eggs. So I did a lot of Pokemon going, and it took me literally six days to catch a single Finneon and a single Burmy. 
and it was glorious when I finally did. Oh my gosh, we're so freaking close. Can we, will it be possible to evolve Chloeo in this fight and have a brand new fully evolved Pyroar before we take on whoever the leader of this gym is? That would be amazing. I want it, I want it. And I want the flamethrower, but I don't know when we get flamethrower. Can we knock this thing out? Is it going to give us some sort of, it's almost definitely going to give us some sort of weird status effect. Yep, told you. Told ya. Oh, I think I hear one son of mine awake in the next room. Mm, Mega Drain, this is gonna do nothing. Mm-hmm. Bam! Kill it dead. Burn it with fire. Literally though. <laughs> yes, here, Luke. Executor. Okay. Oh boy. This thing is gonna have very high special defense. Hmm. I I I don't like being paralyzed. That's my big concern here. But it has it might have like psychic or something really annoying as well. Would it be worth just switching Pokemon to who has Let me see, do you have Shadow Ball? Yeah. Let's switch to you. We're just gonna shadow ball it. It's good to get uh, Goyer and some, get our, uh, something of the, I don't know, I mean, certainly the member on the, oh my gosh, Egg Bomb, so strong. All right, here we go. Shadow Ball, one shot, one kill, let's do it. Oh, it lived. But we lowered the special defense. If you, okay, that better not confuse me. If it doesn't confuse me, we got this in the bag. And we're good. Cool. Shadow Ball. I am dead. Executor down. Okay, so we should just have the gym leader now. Are we going to get the experience needed? Oh! Oh, we must be so close. We must be so close to evolving. Oh, it's so annoying. We should almost go do it. Uh, just to do it. How close is it? Hold on. Not going to go in any sort of weird... Needless damage. There we go. Hold on. I want to see how close we are to evolving on Chloeo. It must be like a f like 10 points or something. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh. oh. To next 200 points to the next level. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Okay. It almost seems fitting that we should get to evolve because we defeat the gym leader though, unless there's just another member of the gym I haven't fought yet. Please be one more. Please be one more before the final big bad. Is there? No, there's not. Okay, okay, oh my gosh. What if we die 200 points before evolving and then if we'd evolved, we would've won. Oh my God, I can't even say that out loud. Why did I say that? That was terrible. Okay, we're gonna fire fang it. If we have to switch, we have to switch. That's all there is. That's that's basically it. If we have to switch, we switch. If we don't, you know, that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to get to the freaking goat. We're going to switch to Fatterhorn, and we're going to body slam it, and that's going to be it. And then we're going to evolve. We're going to have a Pyroar and a new badge, and it's going to be amazing. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. This guy's like, oh, what, are you throwing scissors? Is that supposed to threaten me? Oh, so you've made it clear up here. I'm the gym leader. Ramos is the name. So what you think, Whippersnapper? Did you enjoy the garden playground I made with all these sturdy plants of mine? <laughs> Their strength is a sign of my strength. Their strength is a sign of my strength as a gardener and a gym leader. Did you show you up to face and all that? No, I'm not sure. Oh, my God. I mean, I think we're going to be okay. I know your tricks, Ramos. Ramos, jump bluff, jump bluff. Okay, jump bluff, high defense, high HP, low attack. Let's do, let's spend a turn. Okay, I think I'm gonna spend a turn just doing a quick, oh, we only have six fire fangs. We're gonna do a quick work up here. Acrobatics, let's see how this does. Oh, whoa, it did way more than expected. It did way, oh, yikes. I did not like that. 
power to do so much. That's surprising. Hold on. Okay, let's just let's just see how much it freaking does. Because we weren't at full health. Maybe it won't do it again. Alright, so we're at 86. We get to 47. Okay, so it shouldn't kill us, but my goodness, is it close? I mean, we can just Noble Roar it, and then use another Hyper Potion. But God, that's getting just really... God, I'm afraid of like a critical hit or something. Man, let's... Uh... I don't know if we're gonna be faster than it either. We shouldn't die though, and I don't think it could do more damage. Let's Noble Roar. <gasps> Okay, my goodness, that was close. That was so close, and it's faster than us, and I don't like that. Okay, so now we obviously... Gosh, I was not expecting... Was not expecting... The jump bluff to be a problem. Didn't even know he had a jump bluff, frankly. We've done very little. Okay, that helped a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, let's see how we do here, Fire Fang. Of course, he gets to go twice. That's the problem. <sighs> oh, we burned him. Okay, nice. Okay, so honestly, the burn's going to kill him. So let's see. If we... We may as well just heal again, because the burn will kill him. Or is there like a... Um... we're just gonna heal because even if he uses acrobatics it'll do just like that little bit of quarter damage and then the burn will knock him off we'll level up all will be okay he used the hyper potion oh no but he's still been burned so his um okay hold on do we have an x speed no okay 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 so what i'm what i'm considering is He's gonna be doing very little damage to us at this point because of the burn. So we can almost use another workup to make ourselves stronger for the next one. Let's just, just to like, um, let's do that real quick. This should do almost nothing now. Yeah, look at that. Look how we have whittled its attack power down dramatically. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Fire thing, this thing. Now it should just go down, no problem. Its acrobatics are so weak. Here we go. God, I wish you could evolve mid battle. That would be amazing. Uh, cause I'm pretty. Well, I'm pretty sure it's this level. There we go, Chloe. Yo, 35. Ba boom. Mm-hmm. Lots of experience. A go goat. Oh goodness. See, this is the problem. Now. Like we have all those, we have all those built up, but if he bulldozes us and we die, that's pretty much it. We cannot risk such a thing. We cannot risk it. We <laughs> oh, I wish we've taken just enough damage that I'm so nervous about it. We have to go to Fatterhorn here. Let's go. Okay, you got this, buddy. You got this. Let's go, Fats. Bulldoze. Yep, there it was. Does nothing, though. He shakes it off. He laughs at it. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Look, I think we gained more health than we lost. My goodness. Okay, so we could even go for the yawn. Um, I don't know if we should. Let's just body slam him. Let's just dole the damage. Take down. Nothing. We laugh at your takedown. You take recoil damage. We body slam. We heal. Maybe we'll get paralyzed. Ha! Now your speed drop was pointless, you dumb goat. Oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. Matterhorn's so strong. We body slam. We go for the body slam. Here we go, here we go. What? It was a crit? <gasps> no, it wasn't. Okay, that'd have been cool. <gasps> go, oh no. Brass Knight does damage based on how heavy you are. So... That 
could have been very bad. I mean, it did a lot more damage than I would have even expected. Um, let's just body slam him, though, because I don't think he's got... He used the Hyper Potion. Oh, no. We're going to heal up again a little off the leftovers, though. And he hasn't actually been paralyzed yet. This is really just... Go. Oh, I'm, eh, we're, nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Body slam. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Bulldoze. That's not going to do anything. Yeah. Might have lowered our speed, but nothing. But nothing. Okay, so now it should be good. I mean, he could use like another hyper potion, but realistically, it doesn't matter. We're gonna hit him anyway. We're gonna go first, because he's paralyzed. We got it. We got it, okay. Two down. Batarung gets the experience. Chloeo gets a bunch of experience. We heal up some on those leftovers. Leftovers are so good. And the Weeping Bell. Okay, so this should realistically be nothing, right? We should just be able to destroy this thing, no problem. Acid, uh-huh, sure. Body slam, and we could even just rest and get healthy here, but I bet the body slam. Oh, I thought we were gonna get the one hit kill. For the win, in any case, best, best case, worst case scenario, he uses um, hyper potion, but it won't matter, he'll still be paralyzed. Boom, we did it. And I think we're gonna get, I think we're gonna get an evolution. I think we're there. Are we there? You can't thank things so quickly. When it pops up, when it comes to forming a friendship with your Pokemon Sprout. Do I Sprout? I'm not your Sprout. <gasps> yes. <gasps> Glowio is evolving. What? Here we go. Here we go. We're going to have a pie roar. We're going to have a pie roar. It's going to be awesome. Kind of a long flowing mane. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that pyro. Arr. Very good. Oh man. That's some power right there. Mm-hmm. Man, we should have done it before the fight. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We have a giant lion on the team. You believe in your Pokemon and they believe in you too. Mighty oaks from acorns grow. Go on then you found it. Your own plant badge, Sprout. Alright. That's enough for you. Do I get grass knot from him? That'd be cool. Ah, the plant badge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Grass knot! Yeah! That's very helpful. Shall see who gets that. Heavy the opponent, the harder they fall. Yes, indeed. All right, you guys. Well, we did it. We have gotten our fourth gym badge. Huzzah! Let's take a quick look at our newly evolved Pyroar. Ba-boom! Oh, yes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Look at that special attack. If we could just get a special attack on Chloeo, we would really be, we'd really be going. Let's see. Do we have anything we can give her? I mean, goodness. Any special attacks at all that she could abuse? Uh, Looks like just... No, so far. To surf, wouldn't that be funny? Grass not infest. Infest. No. Mm, that's the. Uh huh. Mm hmm. No. The answer is no. We have no special attacks she could learn. So annoying. So many physical attacks. That's whatever. Whatever game. I don't care. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, next time, we're going to head towards our fifth gym badge, where, uh, and hopefully, hopefully, we shall evolve uh, Juge in the next episode, in which case, we will only be waiting on Lucas and uh, to evolve. But uh, until next time, please remember to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and leave a comment so, uh, in case we catch a new Pokemon, you might be, they might be named after you. That's how it works. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke episode, Nuzlocke episodes. I am so good at talking right now, and I will see you next time.